love, justice, respect, equality, kindness, compassion, equal in dignity, and rights. Hello and welcome to Equal in Dignity and Rights by the Wasmuth Center for Human Rights, home of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. Today, you'll be introduced to another person of influence whose words are also etched into the stone of the Idaho and Frank Human Rights Memorial. At the end of this video, we'll prompt you with a few questions that will get you started in today's virtual journal entry. Remember, there is no right or wrong answer to what you write. You are human equal in dignity and rights. This next influencer has probably brought you a lot of joy and fun already. It's Dr. Seuss. He was an American writer and cartoonist known for his imaginative creatures and worlds and for his enlightening poems in children's books. You may be familiar with some of his 66 published works, such as The Cat in the Hat, The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, or even The Lorax. Dr. Seuss, originally pronounced Zois, was born Theodore Ted Seuss Geisel on March 2, 1904, and died September 24, 1991 in Springfield, Massachusetts. For the most part, his early years would have seemed pretty typical. His father managed a brewery which closed during Prohibition before he was appointed the supervisor of a Springfield park system and zoo, probably where Theodore developed his imagination. Theodore earned his undergraduate degree from Dartmouth College and attended Oxford in England, purposing a doctorate degree, which he did not complete. It was during his time at Dartmouth that he adopted the pen name Dr. Seuss, Seuss being his mother's maiden name. Dr. Seuss was encouraged by a teacher at Oxford to pursue a career with his artwork and drawing. Upon returning to the United States and eventually moving to New York City, to be an illustrator, Theodore worked for various magazines as a cartoonist, some of which were used in advertisements. It was during this time prior to World War II that he dabbled in writing poems and children's books. The first book Geisel wrote and illustrated was rejected 27 times before being published in 1937. During World War II, Dr. Seuss made hundreds of political cartoons for New York publications that denounced Hitler, Mussolini, and fascism, as well as cartoons that spoke out against the racism targeting blacks and Jews in America. Under President Franklin D. Roosevelt, he was hired by the U.S. Treasury Department to create images that helped depict the war for the American public. Dr. Seuss joined the U.S. Army as a captain, writing films depicting peace in Europe after the war and a series of Army training films. After World War II, he created more children's books that brought worldwide appeal for their signature cartoon styles, creative poetry, life lessons, and the excitement they engendered for young children learning to read. Dr. Seuss won countless writing awards, including the Pulitzer Prize and honorary degrees for his work's ability to promote literacy in children by making reading a fun activity. Many of Dr. Seuss's lessons teach children and adults how to be kind to one another, how to recognize their own unique specialness, and how to live in harmony with one another. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Dr. Seuss, from the Lorax.
Now it's your turn. No need to wait a single moment. Through the Schoology portal, we've left a space for you to record your thoughts. You may want to pause the video after each question to give yourself some time to write. There are a total of three questions. Here are the questions to help get you started. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Why? Dr. Seuss isn't a typical person you might identify as a human rights advocate. What do you think makes him an influencer in human rights? Choose a poem by Dr. Seuss and identify the life lesson it provides. Take your time. Remember, this is your journal, your diary. You can be honest with your thoughts. Just as Dr. Seuss teaches us through his work, never forget how we can positively change the world when we are all equal in dignity and rights.